Hello, um, my name is Miss Howard. I teach at a school in Leicestershire called Brockington College. Um, this is Ted, and today we're going to read um, The Shopping Basket by John Birmingham with you. Um, now, The Shopping Basket is published by um, Red Fox, so thank you so much to Red Fox for allowing us to put this up. Pop down to the shop for me, will you, Stephen? And buy six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts, and a packet of crisps for your tea. And leave this note at number 25. So Stephen set off for the shop carrying his basket. He passed number 25, the gap in the railings, the full litter basket, the men digging up the pavement and the house where the nasty dog lived and arrived at the shop. There's Stephen at the shop with what looks to be a full shopping basket. Let's see if he got everything. He bought the six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts and a packet of crisps for his tea. But when he came out of the shop, there was a bear. I want those eggs, said the bear. And if you don't give them to me, I will hug all the breath out of you. If I threw an egg up in the air, says Stephen, you are so slow, I bet you couldn't even catch it. Me? Slow? said the bear. What happens when you throw eggs up in the air? And Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket. But when he got to the house where the nasty dog lived, there was a monkey. Give me those bananas, said the monkey, or I'll pull your hair. If I threw a banana onto that kennel, you're so noisy, I bet you couldn't get it without waking the dog. Me? Noisy? said the monkey. Now, how quiet do you think monkeys can be? So Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to where the men were digging up the pavement, there was a kangaroo. <whistles> Give me those apples! You have in your basket, said the kangaroo, or I'll thump you. If I threw an apple over that tent, you're so clumsy, I bet you couldn't even jump over to get it. Me? Clumsy, said the kangaroo. And Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket. But when he got to the litter basket, there was a goat. Give me those oranges you have in your basket, said the goat, or I'll butt you over the fence. If I put an orange in that litter basket, you're so stupid, I bet you couldn't even get it out. Me? Stupid, said the goat. So Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to the gap in the railings, there was a pig. Give me those donuts, said the pig, or I'll squash you against the railings. If I put the donuts through the gap in the railings, you're so fat, I bet you couldn't squeeze through and get them. Me? Fat, said the pig. <laughs> so Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket, but when he got to number 25, there was an elephant. Give me those crisps, said the elephant, or I'll whack you with my trunk. If I put these crisps through that letterbox, your trunk is so short, I bet you couldn't even reach it. My trunk short, said the elephant. 
What do we think happens when elephants put trunks through letterboxes? And Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to his own house, there was his mother. Where on earth have you been, Stephen? I only asked you to get six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts and a packet of crisps. How could it have taken so long? I hope you enjoyed the shopping basket as much as I do. And I think um, Stephen is actually quite clever in the way he goes about things um, when faced with all those rather threatening animals on the way home.